With more than 59,000 acres, Porcupine Mountains Wilderness State Park is Michigan's largest state park. Having wilderness in the park's title is appropriate because about 75% of the park has been officially designated as a primitive area. Containing 35,000 acres of old growth forest, this land of the big trees is the largest contiguous tract of forest east of the Mississippi River. The Porkies, as the area is affectionately referred to, contains the largest stand of virgin hemlock forest in the Midwest. In this video, we are going to share with you some of the scenic areas that this park was formed to protect, talk to you about camping options in the park, and share our favorite sites and activities from visiting the park numerous times. If you enjoy our video, please like it and subscribe to our channel. All the photography is by us and all the music is by my daughter Aspen. We hope by sharing our wild wanderings that we will inspire others to get out and enjoy the natural world. Now let me tell you more about the Porkies. The efforts to protect this area started in the 1920s. In 1944, the state of Michigan appropriated $1 million to purchase land in the Porcupine Mountains area for scenic values, public recreation, and preservation of the virgin hemlock forest. In 1954, the majority of the state park was dedicated as a nature reservation by the Natural Resource Commission, and in 1973, a master plan for the Porkies was developed with the stated goal of providing the highest quality wilderness recreation experience. The park is a wilderness lover's paradise, with more than 90 miles of hiking trails that follow numerous cascading rivers, past many waterfalls, and parallel 25 miles of Lake Superior shoreline. This park preserves the second longest Great Lake shoreline in the Michigan State Park system. It is also one of only four Michigan State Parks that exceed 10,000 acres in size. Because most of the park is designated as a wilderness natural area or natural national landmark, only foot traffic is permitted in most of the park making this one of the best places to backpack in the Midwest. There are more than 60 backcountry campsites spread across the park with metal fire rings, but no toilets or other accommodations. You must have a backcountry camping permit and register first before doing an overnight trip into the Porkies. For those that would rather not carry their own shelter, there is also a network of more than 20 backcountry cabins or yurts that are available to rent. Each cabin is between a one to four mile hike from their closest trailhead, so they're pretty accessible for adventurers. For those wanting a less rustic experience, there is a modern campground at Union Bay, which is near the eastern entrance to the park and the Lake of the Clouds. This campground is on the shores of Lake Superior and has 100 sites, some of which are on the lake. There are also hot showers, flush toilets, electricity, and a sanitation station at this campground. The lakeshore here is solid basalt, which is great for walking and sunbathing, but not for swimming. You must go a little further east in the park to get sandy beaches. However, the campground's rocky shoreline is an excellent place to watch the sunrise while enjoying a morning cup of coffee. If you are willing to forego the modern bathrooms and electric hookups, there is also a rustic campground about 45 minutes from Union Bay, located near the mouth of the Presque Isle River on the western side of the park. It has about 50 sites on a bluff overlooking Lake Superior. Presque Isle is a rustic campground with no electricity, showers, or sewer hookups. However, the east side of the campground does allow generators. Water is available from two hand pumps and there are pit toilets available. This campground is located adjacent to one of the most beautiful areas in the park, the Presque Isle River. However, I'll tell you about that area after covering the last camping option, which is often overlooked. Along the South Boundary Road, there are also three rustic outpost campgrounds that will accommodate several tents or small campers. These have no showers or electricity, but there are pit toilets. The Union River Outpost has three sites. The Lost Creek Outpost has three sites. And the White Pine Extension Outpost has eight sites. 
The Lost Creek and White Pine Extension Outposts are the most centrally located in the park, being about a 20-minute drive from both the Lake of the Clouds and the Presque Isle River. I've stayed in all three of these campgrounds. My wife and I have rented one of the backcountry cabins, and I've made several backpacking trips of the park's interior. All these camping options are excellent, and you can't go wrong with any of these you choose. It all depends on what you're comfortable with. Now that we've covered the camping options in the Porcupine Mountains Wilderness State Park, let me tell you about the three most popular sites at the Porkies, Summit Peak, the Presque Isle River, and the Lake of the Clouds Overlook. Then in closing, I'll tell you about my favorite activity from our last trip. At 1,950 feet tall, Summit Peak is the highest point in the park. However, it isn't hard to get there because there is an access road off the South Boundary Road. From the parking area, a half mile packed dirt trail winds through huge trees to wooden stairs, walkways, and a 50 foot tall tower offering a breathtaking panoramic view of the Porcupine Mountains. People are often shocked to hear there are mountains in Michigan. These are not the perpetually snow-covered peaks of the Rockies, but rather much older mountains that have been ground down by glaciers and years of erosion. The bedrock geologic formations of this area are over 1 billion years old and are highly visible. Volcanic, tectonic, and glacial activity have worked to produce significant change in elevation within the park that has created dramatic panoramic views and about 100 waterfalls. The largest and easiest waterfalls to visit are on the Presque Isle River on the western edge of the park. Besides the rustic campground located here, there is also a pavilion and picnic tables in the day use area and easy access to three of the biggest waterfalls in the park. From the parking area, the hiking trail leads to wooden stairs and walkways that take you to the falls. At the river mouth, a beautiful suspension bridge spans the fast flowing water. You can also take a flat gravel trail behind the DNR's Presque Isle entrance booth for the shortest and easiest access to view one of the waterfalls. You can also make the area into a nice two mile loop hike with the trails that run parallel both sides of the scenic Presque Isle River. There are boardwalks and viewing platforms that allow breathtaking views of the river. Enjoy some scenes from Presque Isle and then I'll show you the Lake of the Clouds. Standing along the top of the steep escarpment above the beautiful Lake of the Clouds is one of the most impressive vistas in the state of Michigan. It is easy to see why this is the most visited site in the park and one of the most accessible being only a short 100 yard walk up a paved trail or accessible boardwalk that will bring you to the viewing area. One of my favorite activities from our last trip was watching the sunrise from the Lake of the Clouds overlook. Strength 
My favorite activity from our last visit to the Porkies was a hike on the Union Mine Trail through the old mining site and the Union River Gorge. Being a little more than one mile, it was also our shortest hike. This trail descends 100 feet into the River Gorge. There are multiple cascades along the trail through a virgin hemlock and sugar maple forest. Porcupine Mountains Wilderness State Park is one of the few places left in the Midwest where you can truly find some solitude, peace, and quiet away from the hustle and bustle of city life. We highly recommend camping and visiting here. Keep wandering, my friends.